A solo cross country from San Marcos to Arizona, and I enjoyed every minute of it. I've already faced some complications this morning, as my first attempt to leave San Marcos didn't work so well. I was supposed to leave Texas at 4 a.m., get to Phoenix around noon, and then load up the airplane and be back in San Marcos by about 7 or 8 that evening. But during my pre-takeoff checklist at 4 o'clock in the morning, I found something that caused me to cancel the flight. I'll pull it back to actual idle. It's running extremely rough. It's a good amount of shaking. That's even more. back to idle, running very rough. It just sounds like it's about to die. Basically, an old gasket on the intake manifold had blown off of one of the cylinders, and it sounded like the engine wasn't firing on all four cylinders. It was running very rough. I sat around and waited till about 7 a.m. for one of the shops on the airport to open, and I was finally able to get a mechanic to look at it. Luckily, it was an easy fix, and we were done within about 10 minutes. By the time the airplane got all fixed up, there was no way I was going to be able to come back to San Marcos that evening. I've been up since 2.30 in the morning, and I didn't depart San Marcos until about 11.30 in the morning. Despite the maintenance hiccup that delayed my departure, flying by myself from state to state over beautiful terrain and desolate areas of the country was one of the most enjoyable flying experiences I've had. Just me, the airplane, and the landscape. Alright, now we can pick up our IFR clearance. And ground 80991 is ready to copy the clearance. Chicago 80991 ground, roger, cleared to Fort Stockton via Red Erector's Amuse Intersection, Junction Direct. Climb maintain uh, 3000, you expect 8,000 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 119.0, squawk 2465. Okay, Skyhawk 80991 is cleared to Fort Stockton Airport via radar vectors to Amuse and then direct junction and then direct. Climb and maintain 3,000, expect 8,000 and 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 119.0, squawk 2465 for 80991. Skyhawk 991, reback correct. Have a good flight. Tower when you're ready. So long. Thank you, sir. All right, 2465 in the squawk. San Marcos Tower, Skyhawk 80991, ready for IFR departure, runway 17. Skyhawk 80991, San Marcos Tower, runway 17, clear for takeoff, turn left, heading 360. Okay, runway 17, clear for takeoff, turn left, heading 360 for 80991. Transponder to altitude, car peak, cold mixture, rich, flaps are up, fuel selectors on both trim set for takeoff. Those are all in, strobe lights on. And set the gyro, 170 on the heading, matches the compass, heels down to the floor, full power. Fifty-five on the airspeed. Sixty. All right, left to 360, up to 3,000. Feet, we can begin our turn. Sky 991, contact us departure. Quarter departure, good day, 991. All right, entering the clouds, right about 1500 feet, that's about right. 
Hostile to departure, Skyhawk to number 80991, just off San Marcos, 1,500. Skyhawk 80991, off stand approach, ident, climb and maintain 8,000. Ident, climb and maintain 8,000, 80991. Alright, there's 360 on the heading. Contact two miles east of San Marcos Airport, and your altitude indicates I'm leaving 1,800. Altitude checks 991. On instruments. Okay, Bonanza 884, Kilo Sierra has Juliet. Four Kilo Sierra, Roger that. Thank you. Cessna 991, amend altitude, maintain 4,000, and you are clear direct to Muse intersection. Okay, 4,000 direct to Muse, 80991. Alright, direct to Muse. Pops about 2,400. Departure, Pilato 73 Kilo Tango is 1.8, 3,000, 240 on the heading. Pilato 3 Kilo Tango, Austin, departure radar contact, climb and maintain 1, 2,000. Up to 1, 2,000, Pilato 3 Kilo Tango. I've got about six hours of traveling ahead of me, but I'm ready to take it on. This will be the first time I'm going interstate without another person with me. I always love sharing aviation with everyone around me, but there's just something about rocketing into the sky by yourself. No distractions, just your own thoughts, decisions, and skills carrying you through the sky. Some would say it's crazy to take a 172 on an 800 mile trip to pick someone up and come back, but it's not all about speed. Flying in a little airplane over beautiful terrain puts you intimately close to the scenery, right in the middle of the action. General aviation opens the world up to a whole new perspective, and if all I cared about was speed, I'd be missing the point as to why I became a pilot in the first place. I explore tiny airports, get to gaze at landscapes that most don't ever get to see, and most importantly, I embrace the miracle that I'm cruising through the air in a man-made aircraft 10,000 feet above the earth, something that almost everyone in the modern world takes for granted. I don't need a fancy G1000 glass cockpit or a screaming fast airplane to appreciate aviation. Just having a pilot's license is a great honor and privilege, and I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world.